Ghana like the rest of Africa should be interested in space. It is not an exotic thing. In fact, most of the things that comes from space exploration and the technologies that lead to it have application on uh, terrestrial earth. A good example is <laughs> mobile telephony. Now, like I've said, even if we've made the basic sciences our contribution, at least there are applications we should be interested in. Because space has application in meteorology. So if you want to do precision meteorology, how to make better forecast weather and all that, we should be interested in space exploration. It doesn't mean that we are building our own rockets and whatnot. There are a lot of satellites out there which can provide them with the data and whatnot. And of course, we should be having uh, receiving stations, so to speak. That is why at Kuntu say here, a beginning has been made. The Ghana uh, Space, uh, the Afuga, that observatory, it was commissioned by the president himself. That is a beginning. So we must not think that space exploration and the derivatives therefrom are an exotic phenomenon which should be led, left to the developed world alone. As we speak now, you know that a small country like UAE has set an, an object into space and is going to explore a mass. Even now, they are in uh, Martian space. Ghana certainly can compare itself to United Arab Emirates. If even we do not, we are not as wealthy as they are. At least population-wise, land size and whatnot. So we should be very interested. But we can also do that in collaboration with our neighbors. That is why Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, we can get our act together. And in collaboration, we can get some of these things going. So yes, as a minister, I will explore these possibilities. And if there is a niche area that Ghana can express itself, Ghana can express itself, we shall do that. OK, I, I have a specific question. Do we have a space policy? <laughs> yes, there is. They are rudiments, or they are not rudiments. They, I know that they are space policy, but it, has, it is within the confines of MESTI. So we have to, the draft policies are there. Is there a roadmap to ensure that we and our partners are in space at some point? And if so, what is that point? Mr. Speaker, I did not get the last one. Mr. Chairman. Is there a roadmap to get us into space at some point? And if so, what is that point? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm not aware of that. I have to find out. It's not everything I'm going there. And let me confess that it's not everything that I've come here. There could be, but honestly, I do not know. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs>